how's it going? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. So before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know who the winner um, of the crystal resin kit is from the YouTube portion of this giveaway. Um, I've gone through everybody's comments. I did a random draw and the winner of the YouTube giveaway is Shelly Colesmith. So congratulations, Shelly. You are the winner of the crystal resin kit. So not this, this is two gallons, but the little crystal resin kit. So please email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com. I'll get all your information and you'll get your kit in the mail soon. So congratulations. Thank you to everyone who participated. For the Instagram giveaway, I will be announcing that winner shortly at some point today. So stay tuned for that. So congratulations, Shelly. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me, um, you know, how do I determine whether I should varnish a painting or resin a painting? A lot of people have been asking me to show you guys a video on how I pack up my pieces, bubble wrap this, that, boxes. Um, if you guys are interested in a video like that and you want to see the way I pack everything up and ship things out to my clients and maybe talk a little bit more about um, this new resin and why I like it and why I prefer to use it now um, and also why I prefer some things to varnish, some things to resin. So if you'd like to see a video like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll work on a video like that for you guys, okay? So I got my shipment of Liquitex um, gloss varnish from uh, Desairs. Um, it took a couple of weeks, but I finally got it and I'm super excited and it's a pretty big bottle. But here's the thing, it's high gloss varnish. Normally at my Michaels, all they sell is gloss varnish, but I've got my hands on high gloss. So I'm very excited to see how this works out. Now, if you remember in one of either my last or my second last video, I told you guys about um, when you're using primary elements in your pores, they do tend to bleed when you put varnish on them because the, the liquid varnish reactivates the pigments. And then when you're brushing the varnish on, it bleeds. Okay, so I told you guys an option would be to spray one layer of spray varnish and then resort to your second coat or your third coat uh, and or your third coat um, with the, this varnish. So I um, finally, again, in the mail, just got my Windsor Newton. It says general purpose high gloss varnish. Okay, so I've got this now and I tested it out on one of my pieces um, and it worked amazing. Now do it outside because it does stink, but the smell goes away pretty quickly. Um, I tried the Krylon brand, um, a neighbor of mine had it and she let me borrow it and I tried that. Oh my God, that stuff stunk so bad. Um, and the canvas just stunk so bad for days, days and days and days. I would pick up the canvas, I would smell it and it just, it reeked. Um, but this stuff is so much better in my opinion. This is just my opinion. So th this stuff worked really well. And you know, hours later I picked up the canvas, I took a sniff and I couldn't smell anything. So this is my go-to now. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other brands out there, but I don't need plenty of other brands. I just need one, one that works and this works for me. So anything that now has primary elements in it, I will spray one coat of this on top followed by the high gloss varnish. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I just want to let you guys know that. And if you're interested again in the packing video and more about varnish and um, resin, let me know. I'll do a video on that. All right wood cutouts. I'm so excited to show you guys my wood cutouts. So my awesome wood guy came the other day and dropped off like 25 pieces. I was very, very excited. So let me get started and show you guys what I've got. Let's start with my lion. Roar. <laughs> so this is my lion. Now keep in mind, all pieces range between 18 to 20 inches. Um, they're not all the same size because clearly not everything is the same shape. Um, and then the thickness of them is five eighths of an inch. So it's pretty thick, very, very good thickness. Okay. So there's my lion. Uh, let's see, let's put them um, over here for now. Uh, and then my hummingbird. This is my hummingbird. All right. And then we have a monkey. He's so cute. Look at his tail. 
I love them. So we have a monkey. All right, let me just put these back so I can get to the other pieces. And then we have a cougar or a leopard, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's a cat. I love it. He's so cool. Black Panther. Oh, he would be cool as a Black Panther. That's really neat. Um, then we have the elephant with the legs properly cut off. Um, cause the last one I had, there was a little boo-boo on him, but he's been fixed. So here is, uh, the elephant. I love him. He's so cute. Um, my giraffe. Look how cool that is. Super, super neat giraffe. Uh, butterfly. Butterfly with antennas. Now these were a real pain in the butt for my wood guy because they are very thin and you can see they are a little flimsy. However, um, once resin goes on them, rock hard. So that's the good thing about the resin. It'll keep them in place. Um, same with my fairy. If you saw the fairy, she's holding the star. The star was very flimsy. Once I put resin on it, rock hard. So there's my butterfly, super pretty. Um, this one's, this one's popular. I've already got a few, a few off, um, a few orders already. My wolf, look how cool he is. Standing on his rock, howling up in the air. I love it. So cool. And then I had a thought. What you could do is you could get a wolf. Oh, this isn't the right size. They're over there and I can't reach them. Let me see. Oh, no, I got a bigger one. What you could do is get a wood round like this and do the wolf. Well, this isn't big enough, but you get the idea, right? And slap them on there. And it's kind of like, this is the moon. And he's like howling into the moon. Like, how cool is that? That's pretty neat, but it would need to be a much bigger round than this. I think this one is 20 inches something, I think. I think you might need, I'm not sure, I'd have to check. But yeah, how cool would that be? So the wolf is really neat. I've had a few people already order a wolf. Put that back. All right. Next, my owl. Woo! So here's the owl. And then we have, oh, I love this thing, the octopus. Look how cool this turned out. Now I've got all kinds of sea creatures. So now I have the dolphin, I have a mermaid, I have the octopus, and I have a beta fish. Look how cool this is. I cannot wait to paint on this thing. We all know how beta fish are, super colorful, very metallic, shimmer. I cannot wait to do this guy. Um, He's been commissioned already, but I can get more, um, but I love the fish. So yeah, I think, what else do I have that's ocean? I can't remember. The turtle, the mermaid, the dolphin, the octopus, and the fish. Oh, and I have starfish too. Don't forget, here's a finished one. I have starfish as well, if you're interested in a little starfish to go with any of your sea-themed creatures or just starfish alone. I've got a few of these as well. And last but not least, my personal favorite, and this one's for me, my husky. Look, it's Juno. I love him. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So yeah, there's my husky. So those are the shapes I just got the other day. If you're interested in any of them, shoot me an email, canelosoraco, gmail.com, or if you have any other Ds. Oh, I had a lady, um, she's getting a frog. Um, it's So that's in the making as well. And uh, I mentioned I had a tree, um, but I had to give it back to my guy because um, he missed something, so he's gonna fix it. Uh, and then I'll show you guys the frog and the tree in the next video, um, because those are really cool too. And I think, is that it? New stuff? Yeah. Yeah, so I did the cut of, oh, I packed it up. I didn't even show it to you guys, but if you're on Instagram, I did a map cut of Upper Michigan as well. So anywho, if there's anything that you have in mind, that you want done for yourself, like not a husky, maybe you have a golden retriever, maybe you have a lab, maybe you have, I don't know, whatever kind of animal, let me know and I can do it for you, okay? So those are on a commission-based um, request. I don't just get them cut out just because. 
Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any specific shape sizes, I can do letters as well, like your initials, um, monograms, all that kind of stuff. So shoot me an email and let me know. I'm going to put these away. I'm going to set up for painting and I'll be right back. Hey guys. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing sitting on the couch talking to you guys. Well, I finished recording my video and I went upstairs to go and edit it and put it all together and, you know, upload it on YouTube. And I realized that my awesome phone decided to record the paint portion of the video, record the audio, but the whole video was white. So this is the second time this has happened to me in the 200 plus videos I've ever recorded. Um, I don't know why it does that. I have absolutely no idea why my phone did that. So the whole video was there. Thankfully, it was only six minutes. It's probably one of my shortest videos ever uh, in terms of blowing out the paint and all that. Um, but it's just unfortunate because all you can do is hear it and then, but you can't see anything. So I've decided to leave that part in the video. Um, I didn't want to redo a whole new video. Um, and I decided to keep this video because I do talk about the wood cutouts. I do talk about the winner of the crystal resin giveaway. Um, so I figured I would just leave all that in. Um, feel free to fast forward through the white portion of the video. Um, or you can just listen. Just listen along and hear what I have to say and my thoughts and the, my color choices and all that. Um, but because this happened, I am definitely going to do it again. Um, and the other thing is, so it's been about half an hour since I finished the piece. And I came back down to record this part for you guys. And I've noticed that the painting has changed. Um, there is a lot more purple hue to it. Um, and you'll see that part. I've done another recording of that at the very, very end of this video. Um, so today was just not my day. Like maybe this is a sign for me to get off my feet and sit down and let my ankle rest or something. Because it just was not a day for painting for me. Um, although I love the end result, it's just... The technical difficulties, just all of it, just a mess. So I'm sorry. I apologize for not sh being able to show you guys how I made the piece, but I promise you I will do another one um, and I'll do it again. And I hope to God this never happens again. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So stay tuned for the white um, video with my talking in it. But again, feel free to fast forward to the end. Um, where you see the final results, both final results, the one right after the pour, and then the, the results of what it looks like about 30 to 40 minutes later. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Alrighty, so I have here a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I have covered it already in black, my black base, which is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Bat Black. And I've mixed it with um, paint, water, and Floetrol. And I have the same concoction here in my squeeze bottles. I use the squeeze bottles to pour and fix up and touch up all my sides. You can find the information on how I mix those um, and the paints in my squeeze bottles in video number 63. I will link it up at the top for you. Click on that link for ratios. All right, so I've gone ahead and I flooded. And I'm just going to pop the bubbles real quick. All right. And so I wanted to do something super simple, not bright, not colorful, just really plain, monochromatic. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try just black on white and see how that turns out. I have no idea if it's going to work or if it's going to be muddy, too dark. I don't know. Um, so what I have here is Sterling Silver by Deco Art and Pearl by Golden. Now they look pretty much the same. Like, I mean, you can see they're almost the same, right? And of course they're in my awesome low leaf Effie squeeze bottles. I love these things. I literally tossed out all my other squeeze bottles um, and I filled everything in the low leaf Effie bottles. You can find that information listed in the description below the lowleafeffie.com website and place your orders there. Um, I have pewter, which is kind of like, I don't know, grayish and 
I don't know, I'm debating whether I should use this with this just to kind of break it up a little bit, maybe just a little bit. I don't know if I just wanted to do just white. I don't know. I haven't, I, like, I can't even make up my mind um, if I should just leave it white and see what happens because it'll mix with the black and turn gray anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. I'm literally thinking about it as I'm doing this. So let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to have to add a lot of this if I want it to um, really stand out and not get swallowed up by um, the black because I'm only using like two or three colors, right? Oh, I don't know what I should do. Oh, I got to pick that up. My ankle is definitely getting better. I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking how I'm doing. Thank you so much. I am getting better. Still hurts like a, you know what, but oh, I can't decide. Should I just add a little smidge? I don't know. Just a line. A really see how thin that line was it might not even do anything I don't even know all right let's add the pearl pearl definitely makes a difference you can see all right that's it simple plain and simple um, let's torch the bubbles now this canvas I'm using is a, a canvas I already used once if you saw my primary elements pastel video that turned into a real debacle. It did not dry, it looked like poop. Um, so it did not dry well at all. And then I tried to embellish it with Krylon's leafing markers. And boy, did I ever mess that up and it looked so bad. So I've painted over it. This is that canvas and I'm glad I'm able to reuse the canvas. All right, let's uh, blow this out and see what we get. shocked 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 at this outcome unbelievable I got to do this on a bigger scale and you know what that little hint of pewter in here you'll see it when I bring you down for a close-up oh wow I'm so excited it's so pretty okay let's see what I can do The color's so pretty. I'm trying to just bring out a little bit more of the color uh, onto this. Now we've fallen over the edge here, here, and here. So I think I'm gonna do the same here. Oh, I cannot believe this piece. I'm super excited. Oh, I love it. Wow. And then you can always use your finger to fix any lines or any touch-ups. It's kind of like you use your finger as an eraser. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little black line in there. I kind of don't like that. So I'm just gonna take my finger and lightly skim over it like that and boom, the line is gone look at the cells okay 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 i'm gonna bring you guys down for a close-up so you guys can see this i think this is like what i you know i just went out on a whim on this because i just really wanted to do a painting a real quick one and this is probably one of my favorites i can't believe it be right back all right guys here is the results now before i forget if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. As you can probably tell, there's now a little 
um, subscription icon of my logo in the bottom left, or no, bottom right hand corner of the videos now. Click on that and just subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I've uh, hit 82,000 subs and uh, my goal is to hit that 100K, guys. So help me out here and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, look, I'm really glad I added the pewter in here. It really ended up um, in the cells here. This here reminds me of a spinal x-ray. How cool is that? This whole thing reminds me of an x-ray. I'm really pleased with this piece. I could not be happier with the turnout. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out all my social media links below. My Amazon shop links. Um, discounts to, you know, Loli Veffy. Color art. You know, all that stuff is all in the description below. My PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. It really helps support me and support buying materials and doing all these videos for you guys. So that's uh, a huge help. So thank you very much to everyone who's donated. Um, and that's it. Don't forget to check out Juno's YouTube channel, My Husky Pup. Um, you can find his shenanigans on his channel and subscribe there as well. Uh, that's it for now, I think. Yep, pretty much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. So it's been about half an hour and I've come back down and I've noticed it's changing color. So there is now a shade of pink happening uh, in here and a little tinge of blue. So... Although I still like it, although I still think it's pretty, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't stay white. Now, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the black base paint. Um, I'm pretty sure that all black paints are different. Some of them have a red hue to them. Some of them have a blue hue to them. Um, so clearly something is mixing with the black and the white and the pearl and it's adding a little hint of the you know pinkish purple in there um i still think it's pretty but i was really going for the uh silver and white theme so yeah this just hasn't been my day for uh recording a video clearly there have been a lot of um oopsie moments going on here and uh just not my day today. However, still available for purchase and I'm still happy with the painting. Um, but that's it. See you guys on the next one.